So many entrepreneurs have an innate desire for more freedom in their lives, which is a lot of the reason they create their business, that they felt a little bit of restriction working for a corporation, nonprofit, some sort of organization, and wanted to create their own business that helped them reach more people, have more impact, live their life, and do their business in a way that was a more accurate reflection of their values, which would be being able to do it on their own agenda. Well, technically, in this current state of affairs, there is more freedom in the respect that perhaps your social calendar is a little bit more free. You're not driving all over town as much as before. Yet, while you might technically have more space in your calendar, you might not really be experiencing a sense of freedom. And this is particularly true for entrepreneurs that while you create your business because you desire freedom and you want to be able to do your business your way, you have that rebel spirit. A lot of times what happens once you begin in your business is you create less freedom. You start to work more, sacrifice more. And a lot of those fears about incompetence and a lot of feelings of insecurity surface. So what I'm going to share with you is how you can dig in to uncover those fears and then create that experience of freedom that you truly desire so that you are selling in your business and, and highest service to your, to your gifts and to the people that you are meant to serve and doing so with more freedom and more joy. So the first part is to allow yourself some uninterrupted space with a pen and paper and begin by asking yourself questions and see if you can start to tap into your intuition. And at first it might be that your left brain takes over and it's logical and rational and I got to figure this out. Keep going until you can start to shift it so that your right brain takes over and your imagination and your, and your creativity and your intuition kicks in because your intuition is what's going to guide you to what it is that's holding you back. And this means you're going to have to go deeper than you've gone before. So when you notice you get to maybe the easy answer, oh, it was this time, this teacher said this, or my parents said this, whatever it might be, go beyond that and continue to ask questions to see what might be even deeper. Because a lot of times, as you start to grow in your business and experience more success, the fears become sneakier and harder to identify. But if you're not experiencing the level of success that you truly desire, there is a fear still running the show. And it behooves you to uncover that fear so that you can allow yourself to truly experience the success and freedom that you desire. So some questions you can ask are exploring, you know, is this a fear around competence? Do I feel like I'm, I'm, I have what it takes to be successful in my business? Do I feel I can deliver what it is that my business is meant to deliver? Is there a fear around how this change in becoming a more successful business person will affect my relationships? Is there a fear around how I'll be seen and perceived by other people? Is there a fear around my schedule, how it might impact my schedule? Is there a fear around sustainability as far as, am I, this gonna, is this financially possible for me to continue on my own? And really explore, you know, the fear around what security is and where security comes from. Because in traditional society, of course, Security is seen as something outside of you, that a business provides someone else's business, a corporation, an organization, and the idea that you can create that own security is often not the traditional mindset. So having that non-conformist and unconventional mindset allows you to see that really security comes from you. It doesn't come from outside of you. And so really digging into that fear to see where is that fear that I'm not able to support myself, I'm not competent or capable of supporting myself. And see if you can uncover a, a memory, a situation where that fear started. So the root, you know, whose voice is it telling you it's not possible for you or you don't have what it takes, whatever the fear might be. And know that this might be something that you continue to do as you progress and grow as, again, sneaky little new fears come in. And so keep these questions as sort of your arsenal of these are my tools to help combat the fears. And allow yourself the space and time to keep going deeper and deeper and deeper. And sometimes there's a fear around what you might uncover, which is a lot of times why we don't go as deep. 
and allow yourself to trust your intuition that it'll guide you to what you need to know and that it won't kill you. <laughs> that whatever it is that is causing the discomfort, disease, discontent in your business, the lack of the type of success that you desire in your business, whatever it is that is preventing that from happening is not as scary as continuing to live in a place of discontent and not achieving the level of success, the level of service that you truly desire. Once you find an element of this fear, then it's bringing it, bringing it to the surface and being compassionate and seeking to understand, you know, what is it about this fear? You know, who was the person that told me this and what is it about them? You know, what was it, what was their fear that led them to tell me this, whatever it might be? And so when you do this, again, you diminish the power of the fear as you bring it into the light. And as you do this at the same time, the second part is then to start to find evidence of the truth. So where are the times in your life where you have been competent, where you've done things that you've never done before, where you've learned from, you know, things that didn't work out as well and kept going. And in that space of really swimming around in truth, the fear has no place. And that's the space within which you can make your next decision, take your next action. Because when you take actions from that space of truth, those are the actions that will allow you to continue to progress in your business. When we take actions out of the fear, we end up just being busy, feeling like we're doing all these things, but never seeing the, the money come in, the clients come in, whatever it might be. We're just busy and not having any freedom and working even harder and not having any return on the investment of that time and energy that we're putting into our business. So when you take actions out of truth, those actions are trusting your intuition and acting on them. And they tend to be a lot less of that struggle that you feel when you're acting out of fear. Another way to tap into what how you can create more freedom, that sense of freedom, is to think about those experiences where everything around you fades away and you're really immersed in the moment, that state of flow where you're not, whatever it is that you're doing, you're not doing it to prove anything, you're not doing it technically to accomplish or achieve anything. The joy of doing it, the experience and the feeling it gives you is why you're doing it. Those are the moments that you want to create more of because those are the moments when you can create feels like effortlessly. And those are the moments there is no attachment. So be conscious of if you are, you have some sort of belief around, well, I need, you know, alcohol in order to feel free, or I need to do this activity in order to feel free. Anytime there's an attachment or a condition, that's not true freedom. So really dig and see, you know, what are those moments when... I don't need anything and I'm truly in a place of creation, of freedom, of joy. And those are the moments when you're most tapped into you. And those are the moments when you're most tapped into you that you're the most free and the most secure because you're not thinking about what others think about you, if they approve of you, if you belong, if they'll reject you, if you'll be successful. You're allowing yourself to be truly you and do something that you truly love without attachment. So the opportunity for you is to create more of those and to spend more time in that space so that in that space, you're able to move your business forward in a way that's a true reflection of you instead of moving it, stop and start because you're moving it out of fear versus trusting in your competence, in your abilities, and in yourself to take the right actions to move your business forward in a way that is a true reflection of your values and beliefs and desires. So book a call with me if you are in a business that is having some fits and starts or having some in inconsistency in sales and really are ready to break through this fear about whatever it might be for you that's holding you back so that you can experience that consistent income and consistent sharing of your gifts in a way that, again, is a true reflection of you. I will put a link in the comments and you can book a call with me. If you liked this, I encourage you to share, like, tell people about me. If you feel like this could help one person, consider sharing it with them. And come and join me again for the next video on 
Tuesday of next week. Talk to you all soon. Thanks so much for being here. Bye.